Hello Internet, Hewlett here with another Burn and Learn, two days off, and all of a sudden, 35 minutes on the torture device feels like a life sentence. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was going to make it. I was like crawling towards the end of those last 35, those last few minutes of the 35 minutes, and I was, uh, oh man, I, uh, I will sleep well tonight. Uh, but not before I make a delicious dinner for my wife and child. Uh, speaking of which, I should let you know that this is a Burn and Learn, and a Burn and Learn is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, who is, seems to be part fish. Um, and uh, he's swimming right now. And uh, also enjoy the twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane, who's upstairs working. Um, and um, as I say, we spent like the weekend, a lot of the weekend at this uh, swim meet with, uh, with uh, young Bratlett. And uh, he did incredibly well. I don't know who he's related to. Um, maybe, my, maybe I've done some genetic, uh, some genetic modification that I was unaware of. And the kid's just uh, part aquatic. Uh, but yeah, he seemed to really enjoy himself and uh, he just did a great, great job with the races. Um, I also spent the rest of the weekend working on VFX. Uh, so I've been working on visual effects for this movie, Who You Know. Um, I offered uh, to help out on one shot. It turned into like 28, but um, uh, it has been amazing. And the guys at Urban Post, uh, specifically Oren, was just incredibly helpful with, uh, with helping me plow through all these files and figure out what, uh, what I'd done and what I'd done right and what I'd done wrong and how to do it right in the future. Uh, so I feel uh, really good about that. I got to say, I'm more nervous about the effects than my than my performance in this movie, and um, I'm hoping they work out well. Uh, they have to be color timed and um, some opacity changes so they they don't stand out quite so much. But I'm hoping it'll uh, it'll work. Um, it's kind of a, a dreamy sequence, so um, so it's uh, it, it can look a little bit a little off. But uh, and I'm I'm going to stick to that as my excuse. Uh, but it is amazing how obsessive you can get with this stuff. I mean, I've just been weeks and weeks and weeks working on this stuff and the last uh, four or five days of crunching down and really working on getting it done has just been uh, it's sort of a weird symphony of triumphs and defeats and uh, frustration and uh, and uh, and exhilaration. It's just it's an amazing an amazing process, and I'm really hoping to do some more. Um, uh, I said to I said to our director uh, that next time can he have more spaceships and and floating ash because I think I could do that. Um, anyway, so those are done. Uh, you'll see them soon enough, I'm sure. And um, uh, I should talk about the learn part of my burn and learn. I am sort of cheating at my. Uh, Bioengineering 101 course, uh, which I'm taking with the Odin, and I highly recommend that. I love it. It's just this wonderful sort of laid-back, learning, curiosity-fueled uh, class uh, that you can take online. Um, but I'm sort of cheating a bit because I've picked up um, a mole molecular biology uh, for dummies because I just, I'm trying to plow through this stuff. I don't know what I know, what I don't know, how much chemistry do I need, how much biology do I need. The thing I find when I want to get into a subject is find like the base, lowest, explain it to kids version. Um, and uh, that is certainly not what, what molecular biology for dummies is, but it, it definitely, um, it gives you a lot of the background that I need. And uh, so I've been sort of trying to plow through that. I've definitely had to reread huge sections of it because it's a lot of terms and terminology and stuff that I'm just not used to. I'm definitely more of the electronic side of of science and um, been trying very hard to get into the sort of the, the biology chemistry side of it now and uh, really, really enjoying it. So um, I figure if I read, if I can plow through that, then I can go back and start doing the uh, the study stuff that I'm having such a hard time with. So um, I'll do both in tandem, but but I'm, I'm trying to get that background now. So I thought, what a great way, 35 minutes of molecular biology. So that's what I did. Um, so now I must go and make dinner for my fabulous family. It is my job to do that. Um, we get these like food delivery things where they just give you all the bits and pieces, then you sort of cook it, which I've discovered just takes all the stress out of cooking because you know you got everything you need and uh, it's kind of hard to screw it up because they 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 make the instructions uh, for dummies. And uh, so, uh, so yeah, I've been doing those dinners. It's, uh, it's actually worked out quite well. So um, anyways, uh, so until we geek again, sweaty or not, preferably sweaty because I'm hoping to get a couple more burn and learns in before I take off to London, Ontario and do a speech, um, which as I say, I should ask you guys about. So I have to do a dinner, sort of showing our appreciation for all the volunteers at Let's Talk Science. Um, and uh, I just love what these people are doing and why they do it, and and um, I'm just uh, blown away by the scope of this of this amazing sort of, uh, well, this amazing Canadian charity. Um, so I've been asked to do a little talk, a little 15-minute chat, and I thought, I'll, let me throw that to you. What are the things that you think I should talk about that would be would be interesting to people. Um, you know, I want this to be entertaining. I want it to be fun. I also want it to be about them. So if there's anything um, you think uh, 
I should touch on, please, please do. I was gonna sort of play with the whole fan idea because I am a fan of theirs. Um, and of course, through Stargate, I've met like a million fans of all all shapes and sizes and, and uh, <laughs> different levels of geekiness. Um, so um, so yeah, if you've got any suggestions, I would, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. So, to we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come, cheerio, woo!